Hi, this video is made for my friend John who is interested in alcohol stoves and the rest of you that watch it I hope you enjoy it too. What it is is I've made lots of alcohol stoves for backpacking over the years and you know different experiments trying different things different ideas and today what I'm going to try is to take an old cat can which I have right here and put a little water in it and then put this other alcohol stove that I've made out of a it was an old moose can. Uh, I bought this at the 99 cent store and I cut it off and uh, made it into a nice uh, alcohol burning stove. It's made with good heavy aluminum and I really like it. And anyway, to keep it cool, I'm going to put it in here and put a little water and get it fired up. So that'll be the next part of this video is firing this thing up. Hang on. Well, in today's menu Standby, we have please. some Velveeta uh, sh shells and cheese, but I'm going to pour a little water into our little cat can. Not much, just enough to fill the bottom. I'm going to put my alcohol stove in there. It's going to float at first. Then I'm going to pour some alcohol. I'm using heat, but I've poured it into these more convenient bottles. If I can get it open here. And I'll put about two ounces in. Okay, let's give it a light up here and see what happens. It's going good. Okay, I'm going to shut off the lights here and see if I can see that flame a little better. Now well, the sun's still pretty bright, so you can't see much of it. You can see it's starting to blossom now. Okay, we're back. You can see we've waited here about a minute. We've got a good flame coming out of there. We're going to put our two, um, uh, two cups of water into our cooking pot. And going to get our little pot stand. And we'll set it on there and see what happens. See if we can still see the light coming through there. That seems to still be going. Well, we'll see how long it takes to get this to get this thing boiling. Okay, we've been cooking now for about uh, three minutes, and this is the flame pattern we're going to get. And it's looking real good here. Of course, it hasn't boiled yet. Let's take a look at it. See if we can see what's going on with the cooking. Uh, nothing yet. We're going to try something here and we're going to pop the pot stand off and see what we can get here. If I can do this one handed. All right, we removed the water jacket. It just wasn't um, heating up fast enough. So we figured by removing the water jacket, we would uh, bring this up to temperature a little faster. So I'm going to try to remove the uh, pot stand made from half inch uh, fencing and see if we can get the flames to come out of the little holes there. Let's see how that's going to work. Put the flames, put the flames right out, huh? That's 
looking real good. Well, it's been about 12 minutes. Let's see what we got going here. Well, we got a good boil going there. Let's throw in some of the shells. Oops. It is difficult to photograph and cook at the same time. Let's give it a stir. Bring it back to a boil, pop the top on, and in about eight minutes we're going to have something to eat here. See if you can still see those flames are cooking. Alright, let's see what sort of progress. We're about six minutes into cooking the shells, and they're looking pretty good. couple of more minutes should be ready for a mac and shell shells well there's the results very good macaroni and cheese from our little stove here give you a closer look at it still going still got a little life left in it hope you enjoyed the video John hope it works out for you Hope you're able to make some uh, alcohol stoves and uh, check out YouTube and there's several videos there that will be helpful to you. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.